way to Amarillo. Boisterous behaviour in Bristol. Thank you, lads. And an old relic causes chaos on a runway. And apparently they have found a World War II bomb um, just off of the runway or something in Amsterdam. I'm not really sure, but um, we're advising passengers that there is a big delay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Luton Airport, where the holiday begins. But for the Lidplay family, it's not that simple. A delay on their flight from Scotland means they've missed check-in for their onward flight to Alicante. No, they won't accept it. I'll have a look at the next available flight, which is where it's Alicante. 6.45 in the morning. So what are you going to do between now and 6.45? There's no more flights going down. No, I was told by EasyJet that if I was put, if I left two hours between my flights, that you'll guarantee me you better flight. We can't hold the flight up for you. So I've got to sit here all night with two children. I'm sorry, it's not. Is this is this what is this service? I'm sorry. Can you ring him again and say I've got no people way. picking me up at, at 12 o'clock? It's your fault that I've missed my flight. I don't expect to have to wait 12 hours. Okay, I can get my manager or supervisor. Yes, get me a right manager right now. I've just arrived and now they're refusing me to get on a flight. I've got two young daughters. I'm being picked up in, in uh, Alicante at 11 o'clock tonight and they're telling me that I've got to sit around here until 6 o'clock in the morning. In Bristol, it's the start of a normal day for purser Bob Brain, but little does he know a blast from the past is about to cause him a few problems. You're off to Amsterdam. We might not go to Amsterdam. Ah, why? Is there problems with the weather? Um, yeah, weathers, and also apparently they've um, found a World War II bomb at the airport. Uh, an EasyJet Belfast flight went there, and they've got sent back. Can land. Oh, it could be an interesting day then. Yeah. <laughs> Checking in on the same flight, a group of excited lads are looking forward to a special weekend away. We're on a stag weekend. When we made to get married. We're all going to get married. So we've got your reference. Ian Strang, he's done with it. He's Strangy. He's a rapper, you know. I wonder why you would be going to Amsterdam for your cycle. Daffodils, isn't it? Uh, Clips, <laughs> through some windows. <laughs> yeah. All in group D, they'll make an announcement upstairs for your gate number, OK? Thank you, lads. Thanks. And apparently they have found a World War II bomb um, just off of the runway or something in Amsterdam. I'm not really sure, but um, we're advising passengers that there is a big delay, but we don't even know if it's going to go really, but we're not really telling them that it's likely to be cancelled. We're just telling them there's a big delay, but we don't know how much. At this rate, our stags may not get beyond the bar in Bristol. It's a £500 British bomb that could go off at any time. So as a precaution, they've evacuated nearby houses and closed a runway. Manager Leo Jones has been called in to deal with an unhappy Mr Lidplay. EasyJet recommend at least two hours between onward flights, but offer no guarantees. Hello. I was told you'd get me on a flight. So who told you we could get you on a flight? Well, I was told if I, if I left two hours between flights, you'd make sure that I got my flight. All right. um, I've now mm -hmm. been stuck on one, waiting for one of your planes yeah. from Glasgow down to here. I get down there and they've told me that the, sh the, 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 the flights are closed. OK, have you flown in from somewhere? Yes, I've flown okay. in from Glasgow. That's what I've just said. OK, you don't need to be sarcastic. We're I wasn't, I was just... Is your tone of voice OK? I've checked this, I've checked it, I rang, I got a message on the, on, yep. on the, on the, on the, on the internet saying, you know, there are problems at, at uh, what's the airport, and I rang, I rang up, yep. I rang, rang up EasyJet to make sure there were no, okay, not let me just check for you the times, OK? Wait a I don't, you don't have to, by the time you check the time, I've missed the flight. So we have to Glasgow that landed at 17.15, um, and the Alicante, which is due out at 19.20, so, the passenger missed it. Um, would we do anything in that situation today? Are we hold check in for 40 minutes. Yeah, 19.20. Are we hold check in for 40 minutes. Hi, yeah, you would have to write in for any hotel accommodation. Hang away, look, I've got two kids. Girls, get your over here, please. You are absolutely taking the 
We... You give, you go, you tell me this. I rang up. I've made sure that I've got everything. I've done everything I can do, oh and you're God. telling me I've got to start writing in. We... Get real. Sort something now. I've got two youngsters that I need to do something with. Either get on a plane yeah. or. You saw something out. We can offer you a free transfer for the yeah. one tomorrow morning. It is a case. There aren't any And you're flights. not prepared to do anything about it? Well, you can't, you haven't got you funds. Free you haven't got... So where am I going to get a hotel this time of night? We can certainly ring around and assist you in, in finding a hotel. What, what am I going to do with this? Look at her. Look at her. Okay. I understand. She, you don't understand because you don't have children and you're not sitting at an airport at 6 o'clock okay. of an evening waiting to get on a plane... or 7 o'clock of an evening waiting to get on a plane. All I can offer you is a free transfer. A free transfer? I expected morning. nothing. Okay, that to is, pay for my accommodation for tonight. That is all we can offer you. Any accommodation, receipts, and stuff Dad, that you obtain, you'll have to ride here. There's nothing to get, darling. Uh, we can't get a plane until the morning. Can we take that? Yes, we can take that. But what? Are, I mean, what are we going to do tonight? Sit here. My colleagues here will assist you in transferring your flight to. Right. Okay. I need a hotel. Get we'll me a hotel, a hotel and get it paid list. for. Okay, we're not paying for a hotel. I'm going to have to leave the conversation. I've now told you everything that I possibly can. You told me nothing back. apart from the, the, you're not going to, you're not prepared to do anything apart from give me a flight at half past six in the morning. Now, now I've got two young children that I've now got. Okay. You we are just totally to out of order now. The line. Here's the list of local hotels. You're welcome to use our phone here. Like I say, your free transfer will be honoured if you see. And one what of about taxes here. and taxes and forwards? You would need to provide that yourself. We don't have the funds here to be able to do that. That is all that we can give you. You're taking the down. You are taking the. That's all we can give you. That is my help. Come back at 4, 4.25 in the morning. I don't know how far you've got to go but to make sure. As I say, I checked that I could definitely... There would be no problems and there were no problems. I, I normally fly into Stansted and get my flight from there. I had to wait five hours. I would soon have done that. Right, they're used to it. But I don't think it's something I will use again. Our policy is... That a point-to-point -point airline, we only get people from A to B. We're not responsible from C to D. I can't provide hotel accommodation for somebody when it's something that's outside our control. I gave him the hotel list. Um, there's many local hotels in the area, and it's up to him to go away and find the hotel that he wants to stay in. That is all I can do. My hands are tied with absolutely everything. In Amsterdam, the bomb squad are still hard at work. But back in Bristol, Bob Love presses on with boarding. Thank you, man. Oh, this could be fun and games down the back. Colvin, she can oh, cope with it. We've got about an hour to kill. Um, so, I don't know, we're going to see if we can come up with something to entertain the folks while we're on the ground. And obviously, um, while they're doing something, it keeps their mind off the delay. So, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to go down and have a word with the, the Welsh guys at the back on the stag do. Okay, then, guys, so as you're aware, we've still got an hour left. Bit of a delay, yeah. But hopefully that may come forward, yeah. but we're going to try and bring it forward if we can. But it is going to be about an hour. So you're obviously getting restless because you want to get down there and start oh, celebrating. You guys all from uh, Wales, aren't you? Yeah. Now, apparently in Wales, they're known for their singing, apart from many other things. Um, so we're going to give you a challenge. How does one of you fancy a challenge? And you get... Yeah, there is a prize, there is a prize. Yeah. This one here? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what we do. If you're up for the challenge, we'll give you, well, four beers, five beers, go on. That's the best you can drink. I'm sure. to ask my manager. Yeah? The silver fox. Yeah? What's his fee? What's his fee? Are you up for it? Yeah? OK, then, right. Do you want to you do it at the front? You're not shy, are you? I'll take it in the bag if you want, While the unexploded bomb team are hard at work in Amsterdam, in Bristol, Bob turns cabin fever into a cabaret. OK, so ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Jeff Lloyd from Wales. He's in. Oh, Bridge End. Oh, very nice, Tony Bridge End. Oh, lovely. So, do you want to all put your hands together then for Jeff Lloyd? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, nice to be here again with EasyJet. They paid a lot of money for me, for me today. I would like you all to join in with this if you know it. And it goes something like this. Is this the way to Amarillo? 
Every night I've been hugging my pillow, dreaming dreams of Amarillo. A sweet Marie who waits for me. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. A sweet Marie who waits for me. One more time. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. A sweet Marie who waits for me. Thank you all. Well done. Good man. You did well. The humour's good in Bristol, and so is the news. The bomb's been defused, and the boys are on their way. The atmosphere's also upbeat in Luton. A group of Cossack dancers are about to check in. But before they do, Leo has a special request. Will you give us a little show today? Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Wicked. OK, there's about 34 people, um, dancers, um, and they play loads of music and stuff. They're going out for some festivals. So um, I've said to them we will check them in if they give us a little show. All right. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. You have to watch this, then you're on. First, Leo and Mary are shown how it's done. Watch carefully, Leo. You may not know it, but you're up next. It's like banjos and everything. I'm getting really excited by it all. Meanwhile, in Belfast, the mood isn't quite so jolly. It's been a bad day for passenger Terry Breeny. He's already missed two flights to Liverpool. 21.30 is the next one. Half past nine. Well, we'll just need to wait, won't we? The first time he was held up at security, and then he failed to change his booking, so he missed his second flight. He's now trying for a third. Did the, did the girl say they were changing anything at all for you? She said no. no. She says there's some to come and escort you somewhere, so I sat and waited, and nobody came. Then I tried to board the 625 flight, and she says, I told you to go to departures, but she, she hadn't told me to go to back to mm -hmm. departure, or whatever it was, you know, booking in. Yep. I just felt a bit let down with the staff. It's £25 to change the next flight. I need to use plastic, yeah. Visa then, is it, yeah? Yeah. There you go, that's it all done for you. So what, do you need to check in again and go just, through yeah, the whole just rigmarole goes, again? If you, if you go straight over towards desk number six or seven, I'll get the girls to check you in there for you. All right, all right. Great. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks, mate. <clears throat> that was the one I checked in earlier. There for the Liverpool flight is delayed until 21.55. 21.55. Yep. What, what, what you date? need to be there for half past nine at least. Make sure, try and be there for nine o'clock. All right, thanks a lot, sweetheart. Hopefully, this will be third time lucky for Terry. What, 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 what? Hello? I can do that one. Back in Luton, after a quick lesson in Cossack dancing, an excited Leo leads Mary to the terminal floor. Sometimes there's some things you never wish you, you started doing and think that is one of them. Absolutely knackered now for the rest of the day. That was good fun. I think Leo did very well considering. Looks a fit, a fit guy. And uh, with a bit more practice, he could join us. We've got a costume for him if he wants to come across with us. Welcome to the Cossack Brotherhood. Thank you very much. Pull that on, Ronnie. I've got mine on. Get yours on. 
Yeah, we'll be all right. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you very much. This. Well done. Over in Belfast, the third Liverpool flight's boarding and team leader Stephen Smith is being extra vigilant. The gentleman that missed the flight earlier, he didn't turn up at the gate. We think he's gone to the bar, so at the moment we're just trying to get his bag details because we want to make sure if he has gone to the bar that we're in a, and we don't let him fly if he's in a bad state. Then we need to be able to get his bag offloaded as quickly as possible, so rather than risk delaying the flight, we're going to try and find his bag now and just keep it as the last bag to go on board. Do you want to just step over to the side? Yeah. Um, if someone goes to fall, I've had a few coffees since the last time I spoke to you. I've had a couple of lagers, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, sir, you're not going to get started tonight because you've had drinking soon. Do you want to transfer you on to tomorrow's flight? Did you get a little drunk to you? Yes, I can smell the no. drink off you, sir. I've had two pints of shandy. Sir, I was at the gate when you arrived one and a half hours later. I've got a bad cold. I've had two pints of shandy. I am not drunk. I'm afraid there's more than that. You definitely are travelling with this. Your bag's been off the road in the morning. No, that's how you are, don't I? You just have a wee seat there for me, I'll just go and, I'll go and check that's outside. That's how you are, don't I? Just have a wee seat for me. Shandy. Just have a wee seat for me, I'll go and ask here again. But uh, you just have a wee seat. I mean, my friend's waiting in Liverpool. I'll we'll get you on to the I'm not going to get legs, like, it's not. No, just have a wee seat for me, I'll just go and double check here. And the captain's aggressive, anything, he's not getting on. Anything? No, anything, anything, he's 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 anything, I was up at the gate. But the problem is with the drink earlier and the two lager sandies. I haven't been drinking earlier. Well, I came here sober. People that spoke to you down in the, three. in the checking hall and so on said they were so able to smell drink. Speak, sometimes you think, oh, he's had a drink, and I've not had a drink. I've had yeah. two lager sandies tonight. Right. Well, the problem is with the. We've explained to the captain what exactly happened today. Yeah. And he has said that if you've had any more drinks since this afternoon's flight, he won't accept but you I, in the aircraft. I've never had so any drink this afternoon. Unfortunately, that's the. They have to err on the side of caution in case there's well, any It's only problems. 30 minutes to get to Liverpool. I'm not even sitting there quietly. But at 30,000 feet, they can't take any risk of anything, so unfortunately they won't carry you tonight. You have to transfer to tomorrow's flight. That's ridiculous. So she's assuming the day that I'd been drinking when I wasn't. So she's in the wrong, because yeah. I've not had a drink. I'm not going to come to the airport drunk. Drinking. <laughs> so I've got to wait, because I missed the quarter past five flight. Nobody gave me any help. So I went to try and board the 625 flight. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking to somebody who's supposed to be drunk. I'm not drunk. No. So I wait and I have a couple of shandies and now I'm not allowed in the plane. Mm -hmm. That's a f take. Well, you're too aggressive already now to be going Get aggressive. Any... I'm not aggressive. Well, I consider you. No aggressive. Yeah. Be angry. Well, with the I'm alcohol. I'm sat here all day. I'm two lager like shandies. I'm coherent. I know the times I must. Yes, I did try to board the other plane. Yeah. Said, because none of you came and helped me. We explained to you that we're busy you know, that time if you just sat down and waited for right, us. So the plane's but, away then? Yeah. If you come back with me here, I'll get you back down to the sales desk and see about transferring you to another flight. What, tonight? No, not tonight. There's no flight. And where am I supposed to stay tonight? Unfortunately, that's up to you. As the Liverpool flight pushes back, all Stephen can do for Terry is to get him transferred onto the morning flight. Let's hope it'll be fourth time lucky. So you'll be staying in the airport here, are you, tonight, yeah? yeah. Oh, nowhere else. Right, no problem. Just give me one second. We'll, we'll put you on the flight quarter past eight in the morning. Yeah, do you want to use the phone here? Um, Aye, phone my mate. Yeah, have you got the number there? Aye, I've got his mobile. Hello, Wayne. You're not going to believe this. Hey, they're not letting me on the plane because I've had a couple of shakers. You've no money and you're starving. Well, tell EasyJet to send you a meal. All right, what about that? He's really yeah, He's meant to be picking his daughter up and everything this morning. He's no money. I know I was a wee butter, but my aggression wasn't it towards you. It was about me. A wee lassie who doesn't know what she's talking about. Sometimes I might appear, oh, that guy's had a drink. Mm -hmm. No. You'd know when I've got a drink. Right. Yeah? He seemed perfectly fine to me and, uh, I was actually, in my opinion, I would have, uh, if it had been up to me, I would have been quite happy that he flew. Um, problem was, some things maybe have been passed on and said to the dispatcher and the captain, and it's them who make the final decision. Um, once he heard that there was any alcohol involved at all, since he had missed his earlier flight, he had said no, that he wasn't allowed to fly. So I think it's a case of um, a story, the story's got built up about what he's been doing. But when I actually saw him and so on, I really wished he had been able to fly. I might as well get a own boat. Rowing, I'd be a lot quicker. 
It's a joke. It shouldn't be called easy, Jess. Uh, easy f***ed everybody off. With the nightmares of the day behind him, Terry settles down for a well-earned sleep. EasyJet ended up paying for the Lid Place Hotel and they flew to Alicante next day. The boys made it to Amsterdam in one piece. And for Terry, it was fourth time lucky. He caught the early morning flight to Liverpool.